everybody doing? Okay, I got some bad news and some good news. The bad news is I'm not a music professor. I'm a physics professor. But the good news is I'm not going to be talking about physics today. I'll be playing the piano. <laughs> but really, it's not that bad. Anyway, so this piece is called um, A New Tree. It's a piece I wrote. Um, and there's two reasons why it's called A New Tree. <clears throat> One is that it's based on another tune called Lullaby of the Leaves. So I sort of kept the tree theme. Now, the way it worked is I took this other piece, and the chords are pretty much the same, but I wrote a new melody to it. So I can, I can play both to show you how they're different. <clears throat> I'm just going to play the first part. So the, the original piece is, sounds like this. decide whether they're uh, similar or not. And really, that's, that's um, a common thing in, in um, jazz, is to take a previous piece and build upon it um, using the chords and kind of making it your own and changing the character a little bit. And to be honest, I don't know if this original piece was probably, you know, it could have been based on something else. Um, and really what I find is that pretty much all music is somehow based on the past. Uh, and it sort of raises the question of whether anything is 100% original. Uh, I'll let you think about that. <clears throat> the, other, the other reason it's called a new tree is that it's uh, dedicated to my son's apple tree that he started with just a few seeds. So he, uh, he was eating an apple and he said, oh, can I plant these seeds? I'd like to make a tree out of it. So I didn't want to encourage him too much because we always have plants that come in, in the house and they die. So I said, yeah, you can try it, but it might not work. And then all of a sudden these trees came up and I had to plant it in the yard and he waters it every other day. So it's, it's kind of exciting for him. So now that tree has a piece. 